Hey, welcome back to EOS Marketplace, guys. I'm News, and I'll be bringing you up to date with the latest EOS currency news. And guys, if this is your first time in our channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to get the latest out of EOS Marketplace news. So guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the um, articles or the very interesting news that we have included in our daily newsletter last night. All right. So for those of you who are not yet subscribers to our um, daily newsletter, all you got to do is to go to preferredcurrency.news and look for the icon that says PayPal or Coinbase. So using PayPal, you can pay a recurring $15 per month fiat or you can even use coinbase to pay for an annual subscription of 180 dollars to be paid with your favorite crypto coins all right and to give you a sneak peek of how our uh, newsletter looks like so this is uh, the daily issue of our newsletter which our subscribers had received 12 hours prior to this video uh, prior to the uh, taping of this video and if you want to get the news 12 hours earlier before the rest of the world does then all you have to do is to subscribe to preferredcurrency.news and get the newsletter on your emails every day all right so as promised I'll be reading to you the um, the um newsletter or i'll be reading to you the articles that we have included in our newsletter and for our headlines is an in-depth look at the keep key cri uh, cryptocurrency hardware wallet so uh, i'll be reading this from the point of view of the author so this is not mine so i will just read it to you and by the way this is brought to us by pcn dot today and to get more news um about your favorite coins just go to pcn dot today or go to preferred currency dot news all right so guys keeping cryptocurrency safe is a fundamental part of participating in the digital economy and hardware wallets have become popular security solutions these days there is a slew of devices on the market each with its own options and features one of these is the keep key wallet a product that's been well received by the digital currency investors over the last three years the keep key uh, hard Wear wallet now earlier this week i took a look at the keep key hardware wallet a device that allows users to store multiple cryptocurrencies in a secure fashion keep key is sold for 129 us dollars per device which is more expensive than the ledger nano cool wallet s and treasure one nevertheless the small rectangular device is more pleasing to hold and the screen looks very nice when the keep key is operating the case the keep key comes in is packaged well and resembles an unopened apple product keep key cool wallet and the ledger all have well packaged boxes compared to the treasure one packaging mm. the black keep key box is sealed in a plastic wrapping uh, wrapping and when removed there's also a piece of tamper resistant tape um holding the box closed. after inspecting the tape and making sure the box has not been opened previously a knife is needed to cut the tape seal open inside the box is a keep key a 12 word seed card a usb cord and some warranty information the keep keys large oled screen is pleased to look at and is probably one of the device's best features after opening the keep key i headed over to the company's getting started page and downloaded the keep key application for google chrome keep key only works with chrome but it's the same with most hardware uh, hardware wallets now after installing the application to chrome the platform asks you to plug your keep key in to get started immediately after initiating the keep key it required a frame uh, a firmware update and would not start the process of initiating a seed until the firmware is downloaded into the device removing the sub cable from my keep key was uncomfortable feeling and it took a bit of force to insert and remove the cord compared to other devices ledger nano is 
probably the best as far as concert uh, as far as connecting the cord with the Trezor one following behind because my Trezor device has always had a weird connection feeling as well. However, after the device, um, ha after using the USB connection a few times with the keep key, connecting was easier and got much more comfortable to insert over time. Moving on, the keep key begins by initiating a new device name, seed, and pin. The program makes you double check the pin twice and then ask you to write down in the seed phrase. Uh, which is located on the device itself. Unlike other hi uh, hardware wallets, the keep key does not require you to double check the 12 word phrase. After this process, you are granted access to the first account which is dedicated to Bitcoin. In order to add other cryptocurrencies, there is a drop down menu that allows users to add uh, Bitcoin Cash, Dodge, Litecoin, Ethereum, plus a range of ER uh, ERC20 tokens. Unlike other hardware wallets, KeepKey needs to be plugged in to view accounts and they can't be seen when the device is disconnected. After the initial seed had been set up, I created a Bitcoin Cash wallet to send myself some funds. Anytime I test a new wallet, I always send a small fraction of crypto just to make sure the application is working properly. The wallet immediately saw the transaction. You can view, confirm, and unconfirm the transactions in a separate window that's tethered to a block explorer. The Keep Keys interface is fairly intuitive and you can change things like the pin or use the wallet's incline shapeshift option within the settings section. Sending, uh, sending and receiving is simple and actual device itself is used for signing verification while also showing sending and receiving addresses on the screen as well. Following the transaction, I decided to look at the client's Shapeshift integra uh, integration. KeepKey is owned by the firm Shapeshift AG and was one of the first hardware wallets to offer trading abilities within the wallet. Recently, however, Shapeshift has changed its platform business model to a membership exchange and all KeepKey users have to register using the client. Alright guys, so what do you think about the KeepKey hardware device? Let us know in the comment section below. And would you use this device for your crypto accounts? You can shoot us a message at the, um, on the comment section below. Alright, also other news that we have included in our newsletter last night is about Monero's developer's new startup is launching a free blockchain university. Now, South African blockchain startup Terry Labs has unveiled a free online university that makes training accessible to local and international blockchain developers. Terry was developed and launched earlier this year by local blockchain expert and Monero promoter Ricardo Spani uh, alongside American investors Nivy Jane and Dan Terry. Terry particularly aims to readdress the endpoint experience of digital assets such as in-game items, digital collectibles, concert tickets, loyalty points, and other digitally scarce commodities. Navi Jain believes that digital assets are great use case for blockchain technology and his and in his opinion, there is an opportunity for a frictionless experience where users can store most uh, where users can store and most importantly transfer digital assets in line with the rules of use preset by their sellers. The Tari protocol was created after three concluded uh, that none of them already existed. Um, none of the already existing blockchain protocols would suffice in developing their solution to address the actual problems. With the establishment of the proposed uh, free blockchain university, their hope is that Terry Labs will be able to take part in the creating of the next generation of the next expert uh, blockchain and open source developers who will be able to spread the Terry protocol further. Speaking about the proposed project, senior contributor Kaylee uh, Sherrock said, uh, open quote, Terry Labs University aims to become a go-to destination for easily accessible learning material for blockchain, digital currency, and digital assets from beginner to advanced level. The more blockchain experts we can develop, the more 
or the better it is for the whole uh, for the ecosystem as a whole end quote tari labs is currently spe uh, spearheading what is described as the most useful decentralized platform that empowers anyone to create digitally scarce things people love encouraging uh, encouraging flexibility in digital asset transfer uh, speaking about the proposed university share explained that it is the, in the interest of Tari Labs to create an avenue for more developers to gain blockchain development skills, which will help them use the Tari protocols. Well, what about you? Would you enroll in the Monero Developers new, um, new Free Blockchain University? Let us know in the comment section below. And lastly, um, there is an interview of how blockchain can make passwords a thing of the past. So instead of the password or username architecture, each user device is issued with an SSL certificate. The certificate data is stored on the REMME blockchain and authenticated with that technology so that fake certificates cannot be used. Hanger, uh, hackers typically target authentication servers and password databases to carry out mass attacks and the lack of decentralized server or password database should theoretically uh, render common attacks of the nature almost impossible. Users are issued keys on signing out that they are just once when signing back in and then destroyed, replaced with a different key and optionally used with 2FA for added security. CEO Mama says that the project was inspired by a personal experience, the loss of an Ethereum wallet key, and he quotes, uh, the idea first came to me when I lost my password to my Ethereum Genesis wallet way back in 2015. In the end, I was able to guess the password, but it became a final countdown for REMME. For this event, the idea of REMME web auth, one-click user authentication was born, end quote. Mamat founded REMME to find a way around the password problem. After considering solutions like storing uh, geolocation and IP on the blockchain, the project team decided that having too many criteria was a bad idea and opted for, opted for designing the G uh, digital passport instead. A native blockchain was created following some early experimentation with the Emercoin and Bitcoin blockchains. And the experiment has not grown into a fully fledged project aimed at changing the use of public key infrastructure or PKI. Now, blockchain can be used to uh, protect data from cyber attacks and improve cybersecurity across industry. Mamat points out that those who believe the blockchain provides uncensor uh, uncensorable truth are mistaken, stating that what blockchain grants is uncensorable proof. The ability for network participants to monitor activity in real time makes it tamper proof, paving the new way of cybersecurity solutions that were previously impossible. In a quote, our second main goal is to break new ground and establish a path to collective understanding of distributed ledger technology. End quote. The REMME uh, -E -E testnet was launched in September 2018 and Mamet says that the release of the sidechain testnet means REMME -E technology is ready for testing in a full-scale business environment. Saying in a quote, about a week ago, we launched our master node program, which is open to the cryptocurrency community. And each code, uh, each node will provide consistency and fault tolerance and operators will be rewarded with fees from signing transactions for certificate issuance and revocation included in the block. Completion of the master node application period is on 17th of October. Guys, what do you think about not me uh, not using passwords anymore? Would it be hassle-free or would it be more complicated than before? Let us know everything that you have in mind in the comment section below. And guys, I'll be right back. Uh, so this is it for this video for now. But I'll be back with more news and updates for EOS Currency News here from uh, EOS Marketplace News. So this has been Riz and I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Bye!